Girl, where have you taken us today? Directly next to this busy, nondescript intersection in northwest Copenhagen is a real hidden gem that not many people know about. Copenhagen's one and only Barbie Museum. Let's go inside and have a look. This is the result of almost five decades of hard work by owner Lenny Darley Peterson. Today, there are over 3,000 Barbies in her collection, going all the way back to the 1950s up to around the early 2000s. The first room you step into contains all the vintage dolls from the 1950s to 70s, including examples of the German doll called Bild Lily that predated Barbie and from which Barbie was inspired. The collection becomes more and more contemporary as you walk through the maze-like museum, which documents a fascinating journey in fashion and doll shapes over the years. Lenny's collection of Barbies from the 50s and 60s were especially impressive to see. I could have stood there all day looking at all the little details. Lenny pointed out some great examples of how the craftsmanship had changed over time. For example, in the very beginning, all of Barbie's clothes were handmade in Japan, before production moved on to other, cheaper countries in later years. Here is an example of some gloves made in Japan in the 1960s versus ones made later on. See the difference? Also, whenever Barbie's outfit featured fur, it was real fur they used. The museum opened in 1994 after Lenny ran out of space for all the Barbies in her home. She is just a delightful treasure trove of all things Barbie and has so much information on Barbie history. It was so fun walking through the museum and having my memory jogged about Barbies I'd totally forgotten I'd even had, which brought up so many great memories associated with them. Tickets are only 30 kroner and I cannot recommend a visit enough. It's like a bright pink time capsule in the middle of a slightly random grey part of Copenhagen. Even if you're not a huge Barbie fan, it's just impressive to see. Visits are by appointment only, which you can arrange directly with Lenny via her website. If you had any, which Barbies do you remember from your childhood? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.